Welcome. For those of you who use Go High Level or Coachera, you are going to love this video because I'm going to be walking you through exactly how to track your Facebook conversions, i.e. your leads and your purchases and all of that good stuff inside your Go High Level account. I absolutely love this because I love Go High Level. So go ahead and dive into the tutorial and set this up on your end. I'm now going to create automations to track my conversions API. So go into your account, go high level, Coachera, etc. Go to create a new folder. That's the first thing, the best thing to do. So I'm going to name this Conversions API. This is going to help me to track everything happening on Facebook inside of my go high level or Coachera account. So conversions API, I'm going to click on create. And then I'm going to create a workflow first. Let me uh, locate. Uh, so this is the folder I've just created. So I'm going to click into the folder, click on create a workflow to start creating a workflow inside of the folder. So you want to go to create from scratch. So click on continue here. So the first thing you want to do is you want to name the workflow. So I'm going to uh, call this CAPI, C-A-P-I, which stands for conversion API. And I'm going to name this form lead conversions. So you need to create this for your leads and you also want to create it for purchases for all the various um, uh, conversions you want. You will need to create a workflow for that. So I've named it the workflow. So once you've named your form, you want to click on add new trigger and you want to type in a form submitted, which is this one. So form submitted. Once you've selected form submitted, you want to click on add filters and you want to select the exact form. So you want to click on form is and then you want to select the name of your form. So the one that I've been working on most recently is this one, Recurring Revenue Workbook, and it is a freebie. So I've got that here. So I've selected this form. Now you can actually add more than one form, which is brilliant. So if you are if you have several lead magnets and you are going to be running ads and tracking those, you can they should all pop up and you can uh, select them all. So let me select this one, a storytelling template. I'm also going to select uh, this one. I'm going to also select... I'm also going to select this one. Now, whilst I'm selecting this, it's, you know, it's really made me think about the way that we save things. And, you know, I'm going to talk about it on this video because that's a change that I'm going to make. When you create your forms, I think it's really, really important to put something in the brackets that says uh, freebie or if it's a paid product, just so that when you come into selecting your forms, you know exactly, you know, what is a lead generation form or what is a, a scheduling form or, you know, what is, you know, forms for different things so that you can tell the difference. Like it took me a minute to go through the forms to remember which is which. So if you save your forms a little bit better, you get to see them a little bit better here. So now that I have my form, my uh, I've got um, form is and I've got three different forms here or rather four different forms here. It means that these forms are going to be tracked via ads. So down here, we're going to click on save trigger here. And then over here, I'm going to click on the plus. I'm going to type in conversions API. Facebook conversions API has come up over here. And so now we want to select the event type. So if I click on event type, you have funnel event or lead event. Now just stick on, uh, leave it on funnel event because we're going to be running this through a funnel. Now we need to add a few things and that's why it was very important to put all of the information on a Google Doc. So we want to add the access token, the pixel ID, et cetera, et cetera. So for my access token, I want to go back over to my Google Doc and go over to the conversions API token that I got and copied over to my Google Doc. So I copy that, I go back over and I paste it into the access token there. And then for pixel ID, I do the same thing. I go back to my Google Doc, I copy over my pixel ID, make sure there's nothing else there, copy, whoops, give me a second and make sure there are no spaces there. Copy over, head back over, pop in my uh, pixel ID there. Now for Facebook event, you have various things. Now for this, it's definitely a lead that I'm going to be um, tracking through this specific workflow. All I want to do now is click on save and then I'm going to hit publish and my conversion API for my lead conversions is ready to rock and roll. And don't forget to hit save again until you see workflow has been saved. We are good to go. Okay, now that I've shown you how to track your leads inside of Go High Level or inside of Coachera, I want to show you how to track your purchases. So again, let's go back to workflow. So now we have this workflow running here. It is published and it is good to go. We want to create another workflow for this time purchases. So click on create workflow in the same folder. Uh, start from scratch. And the first thing I'm going to do is rename it. So again, I'm going to start with, let's call it 02K. 
CAFI, which stands for Conversion API, and it is uh, Purchase Conversions. Okay, so I've got that. The first thing I want to do is uh, do the trigger. So the trigger we want is Order Submitted. So I've got it here, Order Submitted. You want to add filter. And down here, you want to go to Global Products. So Global Product is, and you select the product that you want to track. So once you've selected the products, remember you can select any product. It could be your, uh, your membership, it could be a load ticket, whatever it is. Select the product that you want to track and click on Save Trigger over here. Then you want to click on this plus here and type in Conversions API and Facebook Conversions API comes up here. And we want to do the same thing. So leave it here as Funnel Event. And then you want to add in your access token once more. So I'm going to go back to my Google Doc. Well, that's disappeared. I have to come back and do it again. But I'm going to go back to my Google Doc copy my access uh, token for my conversion API. Now, because this disappeared, I'm going to click on plus again and get it back up again. Select access token, uh, paste that in there. Then I need to get my pixel ID, paste my pixel ID. Now, this is very, very important. Where is this event name? We want to change this from lead to purchase. So I've selected purchase over here, you also want to insert the value of the product that you selected. So that specific product that I selected was $5. So I'm going to pop it in there. I'm just going to pop a number in because down here we have the currency already, which is USD. So remember to change the currency if you need to. Click on save over here and just check that everything is okay. T uh, publish and then hit save again and you have finished with this specific workflow. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, I talk about all things recurring revenue, automation, social media and systems, all of that good stuff. So go ahead and subscribe to this channel so that you can see our videos three times a week. And of course, if you haven't already grabbed our latest workbook, it is normally $47, but I'm giving it away for free on this channel. And it is your recurring revenue workbook. If you want to have recurring revenue in your business and something that has absolutely changed my life, I've put all of my strategies inside of this workbook and it'll be linked right below this video. So go ahead and check that out. Of course, don't forget to check out this video before you leave.